This is the western front of fighting between Yemen's army and Houthi rebels. One battle in the long-running war to take back control of the country. Government forces are battling in Taz, supported by independent fighters and the Saudi-led coalition. The past few days saw fierce fighting from well-laid plans by the army backed by the resistance fighters. The national army succeeded in breaching the blockades laid by Houthi militias in Madarat and seized control of Wadi Hanash. We are adamant we will cleanse this strategic area which houses intense numbers of the enemy militants. They want to push out all rebels who fight alongside soldiers loyal to former President Ali Abdullah Saleh to block off their supply routes from the north. This area is of strategic significance as it's a bottleneck to the city of Taiz. It is the only passage the Houthis can fight within. If they're driven out of Madarat, the battlefield will open up and the Houthis will not be able to survive our attacks. At the same time, supplies to the Houthis will be cut off from all directions. The Houthis say this video shows them hitting a Saudi UAE coalition warship near the port of Mocha. The Saudis say they intercepted Houthi boats trying to attack the port, which is at the entrance to a major waterway for ships into the Red Sea. Meanwhile, funerals have been held in the UAE for four soldiers from the Saudi-led coalition, who were killed in a helicopter accident in the southern Subwa province. And among the injured is a prominent member of the United Arab Emirates royal family. Sheikh Zayed bin Hamdam Al Nayan is a grandson of the founding father and a member of the presidential guard. The UAE government has not publicly announced how many of its troops are fighting in Yemen. But at least 94 Emirati soldiers have died there since the UAE joined the Saudi-led coalition two and a half years ago. Caroline Malone, Al Jazeera.